Okay guys, last time we having some problem with the compiler. Um, this is tutorial 13. Sorry for the delay. Been kind of busy end of year, but anyway, here it goes. This is the problem that we having. It's saying that we have errors. Even if if we try to run it, it will work here as far as we want, but um, we don't want to have errors. So let's fix that. And the problem that we have in usually that come by default. I don't know why I don't have that here. It should have been here, especially when we work with link. Uh, if we see here in this underline air here, um, that's what it's telling me. I need the system dot data dot link. Uh, and he's not actually asking to to have it here. We're gonna need that sometime later here. But it's actually I actually need that referenced right here so let me just come here and add let's put add reference and look for system.data.link so it's probably going to be way down there let's go there um okay here here it goes okay now the error disappeared Let's run and make sure that's gonna work without any problems at all. And it seemed that it did. So, okay, now let's start taking care of those links. And what the way I wanna do also is since they're pretty similar, the way you're gonna do to view students and view classes, add students, add classes, I'm just gonna do one of them. I'm gonna do, for example, let's do the view students. And you do yourself the view classes. It's going to be a good way of practicing because you're pretty much going to be doing the same thing but working with a different table in a database. So let's go there. Well, now we just, <clears throat> just got to make sure that it's working. So if we come here and run it, let's run that and see what's going to happen. Come view students. Okay, it's not working yet. Okay, the reason for that is, is because we haven't linked the main window uh, button so let's go to the main window and if you remember we are working here in the view but here in the view we have the view students and view classes so since there are um, menus inside of the menus as we can see here you have the menu item and then we have menu inside of it we're gonna have to come here wherever I have view and let's go for students and do a click uh, new event handler uh, instead of having click here let's put a more descriptive name let's put here uh, view yeah view student there we go now we're gonna have to come here to the CS file and that was both of them was, were created here for me as you see I don't want this one because I changed the name however this one I do want it view student so now <clears throat> now that I have that let's create an instance of the view student class that we we we, we did we dealt with so here I have view students and then just come here let's give a name to this variable student equals to to new view students uh, now you're gonna see that if I come here, oh, if I come here and put a show, that is a, a method that's already in. It's nothing you have to write; is already there. So just do the show dialog. It's gonna show the the students that I have in the database. Let's try that out and see if that's gonna work. Here you go. Now I come here to view the students, and as if it was magic, here I have some of the names I have in. You're probably gonna have some different names, so and, and that would be showing all the the different students that I have. I have just few of them, and that's what I have. So yeah, um, that should be working for you now. Now I want you to do the same for classes. As you saw, it's not that hard to do it. Just do the same way we did. You probably want to change instead of student have class whatever you want to say, but yeah, make sure you do that one as a way of practice and yeah it, it won't take too long 
Uh, maybe another thing I want to do here also is... Um, let, let me see. Do I have a cancel? Oh, I do have an exit. I could possibly... Right now, let me let me run that out here. My exit is not working, right? And that's not hard to fix. Let's come back here. So we're in the exit. Let's put here. So I want to click as I done before. Oh, wrong place. Okay, click. Uh, no. Don't want its name click. I just want to put here exit. Now let me come back here to the CS. This guy. Now you can use, there's another method we're going to use. It's just application uh, dot current dot shutdown. Okay, let's try run it and see if that will exit out. Exit. There you go. It worked. All right, that's pretty good. Um, this will be it for this part. Uh, in the next in the next tutorial, what we are going to be looking at is just how to add students and how to add classes. Okay. As I said, make sure you have classes working for to view. Uh, we didn't do anything with um, those guys here. Let me show them. We haven't done anything with those guys, right? Um, I believe we're going to be doing this in the around tutorial 14 or 15. Uh, but as of right now, make sure you get this working for the student. Make sure you do the class one work whenever you press this button here to classes make sure that will work and next time we're gonna be coming here and add student and I'll ask you to do something to add class and then we're gonna come here to edit and to view and and, and deal with the whatever buttons else we have here okay thanks guys for the time and I'll see you later bye